Hello, my beautiful, beautiful subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, I still think you're beautiful. Uh, this is a new series that I'm going to be filming where I attempt to build this. Now, what's in there? I'm going to show you. Grab the old coffee. I'll send the scooter over. <laughs> Well, <laughs> this is an unboxing. Um, I was really, really fortunate to uh, be commissioned to build a brilliant engine out of all these parts that I've got here. Um, what it is, is a Casa Performance uh, SST, the touring version, uh, 265 Scudera. Woo and uh, he's gone for the uh, black cases and uh, all that sort of stuff and I'm really excited to uh, open this up and find what we uh, what have got in there because <laughs> I don't think we've got all the parts I think we're missing a, a few bits and bobs so what I'm gonna do is uh, over this series I'm gonna be building this engine uh, I'm gonna be talking through the parts and what makes uh, the difference between these and the standard uh, parts from other other places or in Agenti. So uh, shall we get cracking on with the old opening bit? Yeah, I think we'll do that. Now I've taken my Stanley knife with me today because uh, I get told off for uh, for using scissors. <laughs> Are you a bit weird? I'm, I'm asking for a friend, by the way. Are you a bit weird if? you get really excited about other person's, other people's parts. Is that normal? I think it's normal. So I was really, really lucky. I was talking to this lad. He lives in Oslo, which is uh, about five hours drive from me. And I was talking to uh, Rimini Lambretta Center. And it's well packed, that's for sure. And I was talking to Rimini Lambretta Center, and the deal is this. If you buy these engines unassembled, you can save a few quid. Problem being that uh, when, you buy, when you do it yourself, then uh, if, uh, if you build something wrong, then obviously you're going to have problems with the, with the warranty. <laughs> but uh, I have to say I'm really really honored that I'm allowed to do this and uh, the cool thing is is that he is gonna fit this in one of his Lambrettas so he's, uh, he's making that all uh, all shiny ready and he's gonna bring the Lambretta down here and I'm gonna help him fit the motor and some other trinkets which uh, we'll probably find when I go through all this lot and uh, I'm even uh, going to be allowed to have a bit of a test ride where I can uh, test uh, certain parts and test the engine itself. I'm really excited about that because I think it's these things. I saw one on the dyno uh, last week in the UK had, uh, was it 40, 44 horsepower, which is twice as much as what I've got in my normal scooters. So really, really looking forward to that. So what I told the lad was because I don't, I don't take any money for doing the stuff that I uh, that I film on the uh, on Kickback Garage here because uh, yeah it's content isn't it it gives me something to do and I, I really enjoy doing this I'm just a, a bit of an enthusiast I am definitely not a dealer. Um, what I said to him was uh, I'll do it and if you if you want to pay me something you can buy me a new rack for two rid my series too because I really fancied a vertical older type uh, spare wheel rack and I think that's the first thing I've found so this is my payment <laughs> I think they're quite expensive these racks but uh, anyway let me open that first because it's actually the only piece in the puzzle that is mine Does that mean that if he seizes the engine, that uh, he can come and pick this back up again? 
Ah, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> so anyway, th this is my, uh, I think it's a Cupini rear rack. And I think that'll look, uh, look a little bit muddy probably, but uh, yeah, I'll go for the original look on her. And now we've just got a whole bunch of boxes. And uh, I think I'm going to put them on the table and we can have a ganj. Ooh, like a Christian grip. So first thing off the pile is this uh, head cowl. I think I'll keep that in its uh, packaging so I don't uh, bash it about. It's very light. Is it carbon fiber maybe? Oh, I can, shall I take a little peek? Yeah. It's, it seems like a carbon fiber type uh, thing. But we'll look at that when I start building. First box. Oh. So many goodies. So, I'm, like I said, I'm going to build this uh, piece by piece and I'm going to be filming it. So you can have a look at what exactly goes in um, this engine. And while I'm packing it up, I think I, I'll talk you through which, which configuration he's gone for. Because uh, already here, this is, and I'll, I think I'll pack that out on a later date as well. This is... The Proti, what do they call it? Super Tora, something, uh, something or other, Super Duper Tora exhaust pipe. So it's a proper expansion pipe, but it's supposed to change the characteristics uh, of the engine. So it's uh, going to be a really, 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 really fast touring bike. Another box, another box. I'm always wary about using... Uh, using the old Stanley knife because I don't want to <laughs> if there's something delicate on the other side I don't want to cut it up this is definitely well packaged I feel like a kid at Christmas and it's not mine that's just amazing right so let's have a look right well brake shoes what's this uh, silent block they don't even fit the silent blocks. Ah, oh, the bastards. <laughs> uh, what's this? Rubber. It's rubber. Is that toolbox rubber? Yeah, he's bought a toolbox. We'll have a look at that when I when I get to it. Uh, Kickstart. Obviously important. And this, he bought, got himself a t-shirt. So that's the the owner's t-shirt. And it's a shame because he's uh, always bought extra large for some strange reason. Maybe I have to steal that. <laughs> uh, and he's bought this. Is, these are quite cool. They're very, very impractical. But this is the uh, smaller, um, the smaller type leg shield toolbox. As you can see, it's very, very thin. You'd be lucky if you get an oil in there, but uh, it does look very cool. Uh, I've got a mate that's got one of these mounted, so we'll have a look at that as well when uh, when I'm mounted on the scooter. It needs a liquor pin, obviously. So that was that. No engine parts, really, per se. What can this be? I'd be really stoked if it, if it was the side case. The problem with the black is that we had to wait a little bit longer for the black to get it anodized. And they said that they didn't think they'd be able to send the side case at the same time they sent the engine. And obviously it's one of the last bits we're gonna put on, but oh, oh, it's, uh, it's a black side case. Wow, nice. I'm definitely gonna open this. Casa Performance engine cases, or the Casa case, if you will, they are pretty much more might. You either love them or hate them. I love them. Look at that in sexy. What is it? It's sort of a anodized black. And obviously you get the, the panel that sits there as well. So this looks absolutely superb. Right, another box, a little box. It was very heavy. So what have we got in here? So the difference between, if for those that are wondering, the difference between the SSR and the SST is that the SSR is uh, more of a racing spec. And that has, I think it's more horsepower out of the box. It's a bit more uh, unruly. Whereas this one is built for uh, fast, very fast touring. 
uh, engine parts, front sprocket. The nice thing is, as well, is the guesswork is taken out. They just send you the full kit with all the parts, and uh, I don't have to work out any gearing or anything like that because that's already done for me. These are just a work of art, and this is going to be a video by itself, I reckon. I'm going to, uh, oh, sorry about the noise. I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, shim the five speed gearbox. Look at this. Whoa, that's uh, engine bits porn. If I can get it out there, get out. So these like polished, they've got this great sort of polished uh, look about them. And what they found out, uh, the first, the, I had one of these that broke. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't mention that. But the gears were a lot thinner back in the day when, uh, when they made them before. And I think what they found out is that they can make the flange a little thinner so that they can make the gears themselves thicker. So these are sort of the original size uh, thickness of uh, gear as, uh, as the old Inagenti ones. And uh, they've got these extra holes for uh, extra lubrication. And uh, they, they work a treat. So definitely look at that. Ooh, shiny stuff. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is the fantastic uh, Castle Performance M plate. I've got one of these in both my scooters. Uh, they're a little bit thicker than standard. And the cool thing about these is that when you're removing the end plate, you've got to get four extraction holes so that you can pull it out level, which, uh, which is, I think is a really good idea. Aha, here we go. This is the uh, new electronic ignition kit uh, from uh, Rimini Lambretta. This is made in collaboration, I believe, with uh, Ducati. So, I've never tried this before myself, being that it's a new kit. I have, uh, like you know, I'm an advocate for SIP vape, and I have tried the uh, Cassatronic. But this, in black, obviously, we're going for a full stealth black. And I like the fact that they've got this, uh, this cone here, because uh, my friend Mr. Steel Weasel, Hello Steve, how are you doing mate? Hope it'll be good down there. Uh, he, he did a video where he actually demonstrated the uh, usefulness of the uh, center corn. So, cool, cool. And there you've got the stutter. Lots and lots of coils. Should give uh, plenty of uh, power output for all your gadgets, if you're that way inclined. Or oh, strangely, it came with two brackets. I think there's an extra one there by accident. But this is uh, for the Series 3, which is perfect. We're fitting it in a Series 3. The coil is, is quite massive there, but there you can see. Ducati, and it's an official, official like modern Ducati, not a rip-off Ducati. So that's uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how, how that is to wire up. That'll be another video where I'm actually going to wire this up and... Uh, strobe it on the scooter and they've got a little uh, little regulator this is uh, the Casa performance uh, anti-dive disc wheel hub quite expensive bit of kit also a thing I really want to test out on the road it's going to be interesting to see how this fares against uh, against the ones I've got on my scooters it comes with this nifty little formula uh, master cylinder and I think he what else has, have we got here? I think he's also bought the fancy brake pads for it. So we shouldn't have any problems with the stopping power. Uh, it now comes with uh, this hydraulic brake line that's got a switch, integrated switch. So that's uh, pretty cool. One thing to watch here is if you, if you fancy, you can buy these uh, master cylinders separate. If you fancy that, then uh, just watch out because uh, the formula, they, they use uh, eight millimeter banjo, whereas on uh, most scooters uh, use uh, 10 millimeter banjos. But look at that. Wow. Have to say, uh, it looks a lot beefier in the flesh than it does on the photos. That's a massive clamp there. Wow, it's going to be real, and it, and the disc is really, really big. I think that's the biggest disc I've ever seen used on a Lambretta before. 
and it's a fully floating disc very very nice really excited to uh, to get that on the scooter and give that a go definitely well this is something i forgot to show you this is the two pot uh, radio mounted caliper looks a business doesn't it cool i'd actually like to have seen uh, some uh, castle performance logos or something there on the pots but uh it looks actually looks quite plain but i think this is a beautiful stopper we'll see cylinder head is is quite special too because uh this is the radial uh cylinder head which helps uh, dissipate the heat away from the uh from the head there little recess on that same as the uh SS that I had very nice and then the proper meat and veg of the of the system oh let's see if I can get it up there wow that is a monster monster cylinder right the big difference between this and the SS I had is the fact if you're gonna have so many ports check out all those ports huh just <laughs> ports all the way around, just like a modern, a proper modern two-stroke cylinder. And I actually think, I believe, you've got an extra hole there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, very, very hard. Yeah, you can see it there. I think that's a decompression hole. But uh, I'll go through the nitty-gritty of that when I fit it. But the, what I wanted to point out was the fact that it doesn't use the standard cylinder stud spacing. It's actually got external uh, mounting points on this. And the reason why they do that is because of all these ports. That's the, the biggest sort of um, Achilles heels on uh, on Lambretta, tune Lambretta cylinders is the fact that you have to work around the uh, standard stud configuration. They're sort of in the way. Whereas here, when you f mount the studs on the outside of the cylinder, then uh, do away with that and you can do what you want inside there. It looks absolutely monstrous. Whoa. This is the clutch. Ooh. Now this, they have uh, two types of clutch, uh, Castle Performance. I'm obviously gonna have to ask them which, uh, which springs I need to use on this one. Uh, they're no better than I do. Uh, but the, um, the, the main difference between these two clutches is the fact that one will fit in the, uh, if you've got a Casa Performance side case, and the other one will fit on standard Lambretta side cases. So I've actually been eyeing this up. I have got um, a Casa engine case on uh, my scooter, but it's it's really, really overkill. But look at that, what a beauty. And this is something I'm gonna be tearing apart and having a look at. Even got its own little uh, cush drive here uh, that runs on bearings. So yeah, what a lovely looking thing. And uh, it came with a tool, which is handy. So hopefully the last piece of the puzzle is in here. Uh, I'm missing some vital parts, but look at that. <laughs> it just looks really, really nice. Fancy smancy. Let's have a look what we've got. Oh, I've got loads of stuff here, right. So let's have a look what we've got, Rob. We have got side case gasket. This is the flywheel cover in black. We'll look at that when I fit it. Here you've got the side case gasket, the one that sits over the holes. And obviously you've got the uh, clutch lever and the cable holder. In black, of course, really snazzy. We've also got rear brake lever, rear brake parts. Nicely packaged, actually. That just means I can, uh, I know, <laughs> and now I've got all the parts I need uh, in all the different packets there. Um, this is for the side case. Spring, plunger, kickstart shaft, gear, uh, uh, clutch actuation, uh, actua actuating uh, mechanism. Uh, 
you've got the kickstart ramp. These use the uh, older type uh, kickstart ramps. Uh, the ones that aren't integrated in the uh, in the side case or in the uh, end plate chain. Iwis, always use Iwis. Nuts and bolts for the case. Spark plug, needle bearing, fancy Venturi for your uh, carb. Plug, uh, what's it called? Lead. The fantastic pull down Casa Performance uh, chain tensioner. I love those. Spring, springy thing. Why don't these come with a fancy red one? That's uh, interesting. Hmm. So this is obviously your gear setup. You've got your uh, bearings for the end plate, uh, bearing for the lay shaft. You've got um, your gear, what's the jig, and this one has already been modified. Like if you've seen my other videos where I uh, where I show you how to modify when you uh, fit a five-speed gearbox, this one comes already done, which is nice. Little circlips. Yep. Okay, we're starting. And even got the uh, spring and the balls for your uh, uh, lay shaft. So that's good. There was a lot of stuff in this little box. This has got to be. It's got to be. Here we go. So here's the heart of the machine. This is the crankshaft one. Before I pack this back up again, I just want to show you what the difference is between uh, the Casa Performance uh, crankshaft that fits in the Casa Performance uh, engine case uh, compared to sort of a standard uh, DL or GP200 uh, crankshaft. Now, the Webs are a lot thicker. Really hard to see when I'm without anything to compare it with, but this is a 60 times 110 crankshaft. This one is from uh, GT Gran Turismo. And uh, they pride themselves, Gran Turismo, on the fact that they've got slightly thicker webs than what you'd normally get. But if I line those up, you will see... <laughs> Quite a big difference there. So if I put a completely standard DL200 on here, you'd see the proper scale of it. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's a cool thing. So these things uh, shouldn't twist. And the engine case itself in this smashing black finish. Now let's have a look at those ports. I believe they come already ported. Wow, look at that. <laughs> There's not much you get around that size there. Maybe the uh, liquid cooled uh, LC300 from, uh, from the lads at Gran Turismo, but that is uh, massive ports there. Very cool. Well, that's the uh, unboxing done. I'm really looking forward to uh, delving into this and uh, building it bit by bit. I'm gonna uh, make probably about five or six films and we're gonna go into uh, the nitty gritty details of uh, shimming and all that sort of stuff in the building process. And uh, if you don't wanna miss that and you want to be beautiful, don't forget to uh, press the old subscribe button. Perfect. Then I'll see you all later. Ta-ra!